Hi there. So this is lesson two of three in the, um, the rhythm exercises, the rhythm structures. We've already looked at the, an overview of, of time signatures and what the notes look like. So you can watch the first video to get that. Um, this exercise is going to be based in three, four time. Um, what does that mean? Well, as I said in the previous lesson, it's basically we have got uh, three crotchets in a bar. Does that sound complicated? Probably. But what it actually means is we're going to count in threes. We are going to count oh, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay, so it's basically, it's a waltz. All right, but there's lots of songs written out there in three, four time. So it's good to understand what it means and it's good to get a feeling of that three, four timing. Okay, so approach we're gonna to take to this is exactly the same as we took in the last lesson. You're gonna scratch pick everything out. You're not gonna worry about your chords. You're gonna take your pick between your first finger and your thumb. You're gonna get it comfortable. You're gonna have the other three fingers unfolded and you're gonna strum from the wrist, remember. From the wrist. If you strum from the wrist with a slight bit of movement from the elbow, you'll get some nice rotation in the wrist and the pick will be pointing in the right direction. Okay, so again, as with the previous lesson, all of these strumming patterns, try strumming them. Um, so as you're strumming all six strings, one, two, three, one, two, three, five strings, one, two, three, one, two, three, four strings, one, two, three, one, two, three, five, six, five, four, five, six. It's gonna make you more accurate with your chords. So just, just use this exercise, use the sheets to go through it all, okay? To, 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 to basically go through playing six strings, five strings, four strings, five strings, six strings. Okay, so three, four time. So let's make a start, straightforward, very easy. We are just gonna start strumming um, four, um, uh, four crotchets to the, uh, three crotchets to the bar, because we're in three, four time. Okay, so after my count, we are gonna strum one, two, three, one, two, three. You're listening for consistency in the pick. You wanna hit the strings that you're supposed to be hitting. You don't wanna be snagging snagging okay it's okay so after my count two three four one two three one two three one two three one two three try and accent the first beat in each bar what that means is you play it slightly louder one, two, three, one, two, three, because it will help you know where you are. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. So after my count, we'll do this again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Two, three, one, 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 two, three. Okay, straightforward, dead easy. Right, the next one in the sheet is basically we are going to look exactly the same as we did in four four time. We're just going to add an upstroke after three. We did it on four in four, four time. We're going to go one, two, three, and 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 one, two, three, and. Okay, consistently, consistency in both directions. Accent in the first beat. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and. Okay, straightforward. So, when you're ready, after my count, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay? 
Got that? Straightforward, really easy. What it does, it adds a bit of movement. Let's hear it on some chords. Okay, so it takes a relatively simple pattern, one, two, three, one, two, three, and by putting that up stroke in, it just gives you some movement. So take some of the songs you're learning, take the chord progressions and try these rhythm patterns on them. Okay, they'll fit. Just, just, just throw them on with different chords. Okay, so the next one, what we're gonna look at, it's a straightforward, we are playing effectively, um, what are we playing? We're playing six beats of the bar, six notes now. We're playing one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, dead straightforward. So, remember, as I said in the first lesson, the hand moves down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, all the time, no matter what we're doing. So this rhythm should be easy. When we do the other rhythms, what we're doing is we're just choosing not to hit the strings on a particular down or up. We're not stopping strumming, we're not, we're not putting the brakes on, because you put the brakes on and you want to be at the top, you're going to go out of sync with the, with the metronome or with me. Okay, so one and two and three and, after my count, two, three, four. One and two and three and 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 one and two one and two and three and down up 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 Okay straightforward dead easy Okay, so the next one, we're playing one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and, one, two, and, three, and remember the hands just going down, up, down, up, down, up. We're playing one, two, and three, and one, up, two, and three, and one, up, two, and three, and. Okay, so after my count, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and 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 one, two, and three, one, two, and three, and down, down, up, down, up, 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 down. Okay. So after you're getting this. If there's any that you're struggling with, just, just rewind the video and watch it again and play it with me again. Just rewind it and play it again, rewind it and play it again. The beauty of these lessons is that you can, you can have any part of the lesson over and over and over again until you get it, okay? Don't get frustrated, don't give up. Some of this isn't easy. Some of it you'll find very difficult. Some of it, it will frustrate. Some of it you'll fly through. Okay, if you're flying through, if you find it really easy, fast forward video, don't watch it. But stick on the bits that you're struggling with and persevere with them, okay? So, next one, what are we gonna look at next? Uh, we are looking at now one and two and three, 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 okay? So we're still strumming one and two and three and one and two and three and, but we're, we're missing that last stand out. One and two and three, one and two and three, okay? So get yourself ready after my count. Two, three, four, one and two and three, 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 down up, down up, down, 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 one run out of breath. There we go. Told you I need to breathe when I'm counting. Okay, give me a minute to get my breath back. <sighs> okay, now you'll notice that my legs tap in as well. Try and tap out the rhythm and try and, try and be conscious of 
strumming down on the down on the stamp and up on the lift and down on the stamp and up on the lift and down up down up down up down up down up one and two and three 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 okay so my hand is strumming in time with my leg and the leg is in time with the metronome and everything's working okay because you just, you've got to get your groove <laughs> okay next one what have we got now? We have got one, two, and, and. Okay, I've just got to work this one out. So it's a one, two, and, and, one, two, and, and. Okay, so two down strokes, two up strokes. One, two, and, and, one, two, and, and, one, two, and, and, one, two, and, and. Now all the, all the ands and threes and everything, they're still in there, but we've just got to figure this out because it's, it's off the beat. It's not, doesn't feel natural. One, two, and, and, 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 one. Okay, so, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. That's what we're gonna play. So, after my count, Two, three, four, one, two, and, and, 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 down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. That will probably be the one that you find difficult. Rewind the video, watch it again, play it again, play it over and over again. All right, so exactly the same as the stuff we looked at in 4-4 time, we can stitch some of these rhythms together to give us longer patterns. So we have, all of these have been one bar patterns at the minute, they just last one bar. So if we take two one bar patterns and stitch them together, we get a two bar pattern. Okay, which will create more more movement in the piece you're playing and create more, more interest. So let's see what we can stitch together. So what we've got on the sheet is one, two, and three, and one, two, and, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and, and. So let's think one, two, and three, and one, two, and, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and, and. Okay. So Let's do, after three, let's just try and play this, okay? After four. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, and one, two, and, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and, and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Up one, two and three and one, two and and one, two and three and one, two and and. Okay, so it's not quite so easy, but we're stitching them together. So let's put some chords under that. And let's see. I'm just going to play a G to a D again. So we're playing. Okay, so it works. Every time I change a chord, I'm changing the pattern. So the pattern's just cycling on different chords. Okay, it just puts some movement into the piece, makes it sound good, makes it sound enjoyable. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna run through with you on this. As with the previous one, like I've said before, you can make these up. You can basically just sit down with a piece of paper and replicate what I've done on your worksheet. Come up with as many different variations of the rhythms as you can. Stitch as many of them together as you can. Come up with two bar patterns, three bar patterns, four bar patterns. See what you can come up with. See what you can make work. Practice them. Okay, so the idea is you are not randomly sitting down and just strumming the guitar. You have actually pre-defined or pre-defined. You've told yourself beforehand what you want to practice. You've sat down and you've made sure that you can play what you said you were going to play. 
Just like learning a song, songs will come with rhythm charts. To make that song work, you've got to learn how to play the rhythm for the song, okay? This is teaching you how to do that because it will be shown to you in a very similar way to the chord charts that you've got with me, all right? So there we go, three, four time. One more video in this series for now. We've got six, eight time. Go watch it, enjoy it. I hope this one's been useful and I will catch you on the next video. See you later, cheers.